All right. So what will an individual learn as they pursue the CWNA certification? Okay. The CWNA, that's our flagship certification. It's been around the longest since the early 2000s, and it's effectively the certification that started it all for CWNP. Now, it stands for Certified Wireless Network Administrator, and what that entails is huge. There's a lot of knowledge and information in CWNA. It's our one certification that if you take a live course with an instructor, is almost universally always taught as a five-day class, whereas some of the others are either three or four days. So with CWNA, you're going to learn the fundamentals of radio frequency in more detail than you do at CWS and CWT levels. You're going to learn about antenna hardware in more detail again than you do at the other levels. You're going to learn about uh, RF propagation. How does RF, radio frequency, move throughout an environment? How is it that we, we have an antenna and these things called radio frequency waves come out of that antenna and move through a space in order to get from one device to another so that a signal can be received, so that data can move throughout the environment. You're going to learn all of that. You're going to begin your learning of modulation, which of course goes deeper into other systems, but modulation is the process we use to take those radio frequency waves and put stuff on them, make them represent actual information or data. And so you learn about that. And then you really get in-depth into all of the different architectures, the the ways in which Wi-Fi can be implemented today. So you're dealing with, for example, cloud-based solutions where all of the access points are managed through the cloud, controller-based solutions where they're managed through a local device on-premises, or possibly even a autonomous solution where all the APs are managed individually. So whatever the model is, you learn what those models mean, how they work, what the differences are in their functionality. You're also introduced to security in CWNA. Um, For example, our, our book and our courses have an entire chapter devoted just to security. So you get a good foundational knowledge there. And then you're introduced to design as well. And you're introduced to troubleshooting. So three key areas of Wi-Fi. And those are, of course, security, design, and troubleshooting. You're introduced to all of them. So you have enough knowledge of them to be able to function well as an administrator. But then our other more advanced certifications take those three areas and go much deeper still into them. So CWNA gives you a rock solid foundation of radio frequency, Wi-Fi operations, how Wi-Fi works, the different models of implementation we can use for Wi-Fi, sometimes called architectures, and the security design and also the troubleshooting aspects of working with Wi-Fi networks. So very exhaustive but giving you a really solid foundation for future learning and to be able to be a good administrator of a Wi-Fi network for which you're responsible.